Well, it's Saturday morning about 9.45. It's blowing rough as bricks. I'll take you over to the beach in a minute and show you. I'm headed to the uh, Apple store to get my computer and then upload this video that I button patched video from Thursday. My uh, computer had a battery recall. I had to put it in the shop instead of take one to three days. Well, the day is the third day, and they just emailed me and said, come pick it up. So the leader and myself was going to go over there and pick it up. Our Saturday morning farmer's market was canceled due to this storm. But Tim and I are working a, another afternoon market at Taste Unlimited store from 1 to 4. It's like I said, it's only a shade before 10 now. I'll get back to you when I load that video up. Well, it's Friday morning. I mean Thursday morning, about 9.30. No rain, no wind. It's beautiful. I got a few knives to work on. And I'm headed to the patch. I'll get back to you. Well, I just dropped off the two buck 110s. And like I said, since I'm in this area, the, the patch is about 20 minutes from here. Patches are... I don't know how far it is from my house, 25 miles maybe. You gotta pay toll both ways to get to the patch for me. And it is uh, 12.05. And uh, we have to go see, we have a local guy here who sings and sounds like Frank Sinatra. So they're having him at this restaurant where we eat at, they're having a dinner special called Frank with Frank. You know, Frank sings Frank. That's what it's called. I've never seen this guy before, but Low Tide Tim, he's seen him before a couple places. But anyway, we're going to give him a spin tonight for dinner. It's an Italian place. And let's see now. I got uh, just picked up some knives. You've seen those before. I'm not, I'm not sure how long ago, but I sharpened them for the guy once before. There's some high-priced... Uh, Japanese looking knives made in China. I'll get back to you. I uh, I sent the ground shark back today. I never used it, of course. I just didn't. When I got it out of the box and looked at it and did the video on it, the more I did the video, the less I liked it. It's just too narrow a hole. You know what I mean? The diameter or circumference or whatever the hell it is of the shovel part. It looks like they took a piece of three inch pipe and cut it in half and it's it's narrow. Not the kind of holes I like to dig. Now if I was a park hunter or hunted it in a fancy playground or something, it'd probably be a great shovel. But I sent it back today for a possible replacement. I'll get back to you. Okay. We're coming up on the main road to get to the patch. It's called uh, Moses Grandy Trail. And if you want to find out some interesting stuff, check out Moses Grandy. He was a cool guy. They named a street after him. Okay. I don't know where the sun went. It's gotten cloudy and a little chillier, it looks like. It was beautiful when I left uh, Rancho Max. But, you know how it goes. It's not bad. It's in the mid-50s, I think, is what they call it. Well, no, we'll be okay. Now, the one thing I didn't realize until I got fooling around with my uh, Equinox yesterday was it was raining and blowing yesterday, so I stayed home and, you know, just worked on a few knives. But I didn't realize that I was in F1, F, what you, FE instead of F2. I thought when you switch from one program to the other that since you were already in F2 from the beach mode that it would be in park or field mode. But it wasn't. Stand by. Okay. Anyway, the, last, the, whole, the whole time we've been coming over to the patch, we've been hunting in FE. So today, we're going to hunt in uh, F2 at 3. That's as high as the knock 600 to go is three. I think the eights go to, what, say eight or nine maybe. 
I'm thinking about buying another 800, to be perfectly honest with you. Unless something pops out I like. I like the MDT 8000. But I think it's way too deep for me at my age. And it's not completely 100% waterproof, but it's a nice heater. Those of y'all who don't, don't know what it is, you need to check it out. MDT 8000. NASA Tom helped design it. Or maybe he did design it. I don't know. Somebody else is building it. It's a little pricey, but, you know, it's not as bad as the uh, CTX was. And I think Gigmaster just bought one of these, some kind of simplex doodads. I think that's a waste of money for beach hunting. Might be okay for the dirt, but all the reviews I got on it was weak for the beach. But that's just my opinion, you know. What the hell? We all got opinions. Let's see. What else I got ranting about this morning? Uh, I don't know. That's about it. Now right here, you can see that magnolia tree. This is on the road to the patch, the main road to the patch. We hunted in here in 2009, I think. And there's an old home site back there, but man, it's so growed up so thick back there. It's unbelievable. We found a lot of horse tack stuff. Uh, a few older coins. We found a bunch of V-nickels. Uh, and all the deer you wanted to chase out of the woods. And lots and lots of shotgun shells. And bullets. Oh, God. But that's the way the patch was till we got half of them cleared out of there. Masking all the good stuff the bullets were, you know. Okay. Here are all the knives I picked up. These fancy ones. I've sharpened these once before about seven or eight months ago for the guy. I'm using one of my old cameras today. Not waterproof. So I don't have a waterproof standby. I don't have to worry about uh, any salt water or anything since I'm not in that zone. We're in three. F2. Okay. Let's see how that does here at the patch. Right here, along the edge of the patch, where this marsh is right here, I found the uh, only coin I ever found here. And the guy asked me about it the other day. It was an 1851 large cent with 13 stars on it. It's only coin, there's only been two coins found that I know of here and I found one this large my buddy found like I said a three cent piece. I'll get back to you in a little while. See how it goes. Well we got the first tester. In all metals we got a 12 with a little scratch to it. We go to discriminate. <laughs> Let's try it, see what it is. We dug a piece of brass or something, the first target. This is not the first target, this is just the, the other one. The other one's only inch deep. I don't think it's old. Stand by, I'll get back to you in a minute. Sounds like iron to me. Yes. Yeah. 
a little teeny piece of something, I can tell you that. Look at that. What in the world is that? It's just a piece of junk, I think. Equinox picks them up. As we go along here, I'll tell you a little story about this spot. Jack, the fellow who owns it, told me the other day that he's got a family of eagles that live here somewhere in the trees. And when he's pulling that great big uh, thing behind his tractor that cuts all this stuff down, bush hog or whatever you call it, the eagles will come out and fly all around him. And when he chases, when he runs over a mouse or a whatever's in the field, it moves. The eagles will sweep down and grab it. So he thought that was pretty cool, which I think it is too. Anyway, he went and got three pounds of hamburger meat and put out in an opening. And he's got a wildlife camera, and he put the wildlife camera up, and he filmed these eagles coming in and eating this hamburger meat. He said that eagles have a pecking order. He said there's a big mama eagle and a daddy eagle and then small, three smaller eagles. And they all take their turn in eating from this hamburger pile of hamburger meat. And you have to stay in line. If you get out of line, but if you get fancy and you want to run in there ahead of you somebody, the mama bird pecks on you and throws you down and knocks you all around and everything. He said it was hilarious watching them. As long as they didn't get out of order, they were okay. But once or twice, them little young ones run in the pile of hamburger meat, and mama swatted them, knocked them off, the, knocked them on the ground. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know they had a pecking order. Okay, to dig or not to dig? In all metals, it's really jumpy. It's 28, 27 solid, total solid. Can discriminate. I don't never dug any 20s in here that I know of. Let's see what it is. Probably a nail or something. Stand by. Big square nail. I knew it was something like that, but you can see it was deep. Well, we got button number one. I didn't film it. It was came in as a six. I didn't think it was a button. I thought it was a bullet. I can't tell if there's anything on it or not. Kind of like the one I found the other day. A little teeny, like an underwear button or something. Looks like it's got some flat design on it, though. What can I see? I can't see anything. I'll get back to you in a little bit. We got some good numbers here. Stand by. I think we've been fooled again. Feels like it might be a bullet. I can't see any markings or anything yet. It's heavy like a bullet, so I'm thinking that's what it is. Well, we got another 12. And we got another little button. 
flight button. Almost identical to the other one. I can't tell if it's got, looks like to me it's got an anchor, I mean a star or something on it. But my eyes are old, but it's got something on it. I can see it. Stand by. Semper Fi. There's the eagle at the top, and there's the anchor at the bottom. 17 came in as. I like it. Well, about 10 feet away from the button, we got a solid 9 and 10. I'm thinking a bullet. 22 maybe. Let's see what it is. Stand by. Wasn't very shallow, so I'm pretty sure it's a shotgun shell or 22 or something. Eight or nine. I don't think I like eight or nine. As far as buttons go. Come on, baby. Not turn it on here. What's the matter with you? I guess you got to push the button to make it work. I have dug some buckshot here at this same number. So I'm, I got a feeling that's probably what this is. Double aught looks like. God damn. I'll get back to you in a minute. 22. I think he's trying to fool us. Let's try it. I think she's trying to fool us again. Stand by. I may have already showed you these. These are the knives I picked up today. Here's a roundup. I got fooled on some of these. Some of them I just dug to see. Some lead. Shotgun shell. I don't know what this is. Brass. It's thick. You can see it's heavy, but it sounded really good. And we got three little buttons. We got some buttons with designs on them. I like them. And one marine with the eagle and the anchor. It was a good day. Was it F2? I don't know. I will say that F2 seemed to help 
indiscriminate, picking out the iron signals from the good signals. They were more choppy, more, more, more bad in discriminating than they were in all metals. Meaning, before in discriminate, they kind of sounded good. But with F2 in discriminate, you would lose the signal every sweep or two. Meaning, you know, you, you didn't get a good signal. So I think F2 helped some in that respect. Okay, I'll have some pictures of these at the back. My main problem is a big computer is in the shop. I got a 2016 or 17 MacBook Pro that I use for all my videos. And they had a battery battery recall. So uh, 10, or seven, 10 or 12 days ago, they ordered a battery for me. <clears throat> It came in, so we dropped it off at the battery place at the Apple store yesterday. Said it would be one to three days before we get it back. Which is okay. Except all I'm left with now is this iPad, which I have used in the past to download some videos. But I can't find a damn plug that plugs into here that I plugged the SD card in that's on this f camera that I'm using. And I don't have any pictures on my uh, phone other than a few pictures of the buttons. So I'm at an impasse. I may have to wait till I get my camera back. I mean my uh, computer back. Stand by. We're about to lose our battery on this baby.